We're back. You're about to meet several deputies from the Marion County Sheriff's Office. That includes Deputy Sheffield, Deputy Carpenter, and Sergeant Liberator. They're responding to a call for a man sitting in the driveway of a church. Now, I spoke to the man personally, and he goes there due to the fact that he has no cell phone signal at his home. He's on the phone with a radio podcast doing a show about firearms. He belongs to a group in Florida that is an advocate for open carry. What's going on, bro? I just did a radio show because I have service over here. And a lady's freaking out next door yelling that, that I'm sniffing coke off my dashboard. Okay. But literally, I just did a radio show. Okay. Go ahead and step out because I don't want to talk to you while you're sitting in the car because I don't know what you, oh, here you go. what you have in there or oh, anything like that. Sure. Perfect. This church does not have any no trespassing signs on the property, and it is welcome for the public to go there generally. He's sitting near the right-of-way and offering no threat or danger to the building itself or the contents inside of it. So at this point, they have a suspicious person, which does not meet the threshold of loitering and prowling. This is a reasonable place to be in the daytime. Furthermore, they have only third-party information that he's trespassing. That came from the neighbors. The deputies have absolutely no trespass authority to remove him from this property. And you're going to hear the lies in just a minute. Yeah. Here's my driver's license. Okay. Here's my insurance. Okay. I am armed. So carry all them. That's fine. That. But just so step out. Of my, I don't plan on stepping out. Well, I need you to step out because I'm not going to talk to you while you're in the car. Talk okay. To me right here. All right. So is there, you, you come over here and you just sit out here? No, I have, I have signal here. You have signal I don't here. have signal on my property. Okay. I just did a radio show, arms room radio. Okay. okay. All right, where's your firearm at? On my hip. Okay. Left side. So I'm not going to step out. Here. Here's my head. Just be a last subject. Here, signal zero currently on his poster and hip. Just, uh, we have a camera on the church, and I was just coming up to see what was going on. Okay. Well, you can take off. We're, we're okay. Now, I'm absolutely baffled at this deputy's response to the person who could be in control of this church. They just shoot him off. Okay. Well, you can take off. We're, we're okay. So here's a problem, Kevin. What's the problem? You currently are armed, okay? I'm not why? comfable Wait, with walking is, back to my vehicle. Why is that a problem that I'm armed? Listen, I'm listening. you just, you're, I'm answering your question. Okay. You, I'm answering your question. No, but you realize I don't have to tell, inform you that I'm armed. You do not, I do have, I have no duty to inform you that I'm armed. Show me the statute where it says that. Kevin. What is your name? All you have to do is cooperate with me and you can be on your way. Did and I right mind? now you're giving, you're giving me a hard time. How am I giving All you a hard time? All I asked you to do. One simple thing to just step out of the car. Here's my hands. Okay, that's Fire it. Is on my left hip. That's that is it. That's it. And now you're giving me a problem because you're frustrated from whomever this no, lady I'm is. Not okay. Frustrated. So my question is, All right. get out of the car. So then what? that's that's. So I can see what you're doing. I can't see what you're doing if here's you're my, sitting down in your car. On my side of my I, hip. I'm. I don't care about that. Okay, then. Then I don't care about that. I just gave you my information. I don't have to inform you that I'm on. Sixty thirty one. Ten four. Ten twelve. You can keep the station clear. So why are you giving me such a hard time? How am I giving you a hard time? Explain to me, how am I giving you a hard time? 10 Are you 1041 That's a 10 4. Okay, well, you, well, we'll just stay like this for a minute, okay? okay? My hands we'll get, are here. We can do that. Hands. We can do that. We'll stay right here. So, what we're here. We're, we're, we don't have to talk. Okay. You don't. You don't want to talk to me. You don't want to cooperate with me. That's with that's you. totally fine. I was talking with you. Well, you're just giving me a hard time, so I don't want to make the situation the worse. And we're just getting out of my car. we're just gonna stay right here, and we're gonna sit right here Perfect. until my backup gets here. Okay. Perfect. All right. We Back. can do that. You you do realize I don't have to inform you. We don't have to talk. Okay. All right. Mike, this is all you, Mike. Wanted me on the radio show. 
There's nothing wrong with you doing what you're doing. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But you're on private property. Mm -hmm. This lady is obligated to watch the church. She doesn't know you and she don't know why you're over here, so that's why they call So her. she's yelling that I'm sniffing coke off my dashboard. That's her opinion. I don't know that. I'm only here to find out what's going on. Okay? That's it. That is it. So what are we waiting for? Well, I already told you. I gave you my ID. I already told you. So, it's on his hip, ask him to get out, he don't want to get out, so I'm not going to not walk away from him, I already have everything here with me, so. Sir, get out of the vehicle, get out now. Get out of the vehicle, it's a lawful order, sir, get out of the vehicle. Get out of the vehicle. Okay, sir, we're giving you a lawful order to step out of the vehicle. Turn around and place your hands above your head. Turn around and place your hands above your, above your head. Here's my hands. Turn around and place your hands you above your head. There you go, cover. Marion County again. Marion County again. Here you go. Perfect. Left hit. I know where you are. That's why I have your left hand first. Yeah, good. Put Perfect. your phone down, please. All right, let me put it right here. Put your phone down. Yep, put it right here. Sir, we're not here to negotiate. She ah, said put your phone right down, here. put your hands behind your back. Yep. My left hand. You want to draw my firearm? Draw my firearm. Just remember, those of you who have a thin blue line sticker on your car, and next to that, a sticker that says come and take them, these are the people that are going to come and disarm you. Short trigger on that. Be careful. You're not trained in that firearm. Can I lean against my car? Okay. I'm okay. So you guys all realize... You to, all you had you, to do was just get out for me. That was it. Why do I have That's to get it. out? Because you're going to disarm me. You have a firearm, okay? So what? I'm not going to walk away from you. You have a firearm. True. So what, what's and the I'm, I'm lawfully legal to have this so firearm to walk around because I'm conducting right business. Do. Okay? Same exact right you do. Uh, all right. Listen, well, you... listen. Right now we're here conducting investigation. Yes. Okay. That's a lawful command here in the state of Florida. We're allowed to ask you to exit the vehicle. Still trying to find out what crime they're investigating. Once again, churches are open to the public. Okay. I'm, I'm just letting you know. So I said that my, my question was you're going to exit my car and you're going to disarm me. For what reason? I just told you. For what reason? Don't tell me your officer's safety. What about my safety? Because we're conducting an investigation. Investigation on what? Okay. You, you think me we make just it, make randomly it... went over here? Listen. What did listen, I just tell you? Listen. listen I've already explained it to me. I've already explained all of this to you. You got your, you got your, you got you your armed. armed. Yes, you are Perfect. armed. Okay. And you've been sitting here for a while. People have called in about your I vehicle being suspicious. I just did a radio show. Okay, that's fine. I'm letting you know what's going on okay. with us, okay? okay. I've already explained that So just Perfect. Compliance is key yep. with everybody for everything. Yep. Same That's thing it. I just said. Yep. Okay. Now, things didn't have to escalate to this. If you're like, oh, yes, ma'am, I'll get out of the vehicle. Here's my gun. I'm so sorry. That's we have to be sorry for lawfully carrying a weapon to protect ourselves. I don't understand. I'm so sorry. That's it. I told okay, you boom. I was armed. No, that's fine. But, but you but didn't. You told to me you're not getting out of the vehicle. So that's why I got on, to this man. point. I, I said if, that to if, you. No, no. I said to you, I don't even have to inform you that I'm armed. Okay. I have no so duty to inform every, you that I'm armed. You know that everything that you say and do is being recorded. Perfect. I okay. have no duty All right. to inform All right. you that so I am just, armed. Just stay right here. So he's sitting out here in the car, I guess, apparently doing a, a podcast out here in the parking lot of the church. The lady next door is supposed to watch the church. So when I get here, um, talking to him, he immediately hands me his driver's license and the registration to the car. And then I ask him to get out and he's refusing to get out of the car. And that's when he tells me he has a firearm. So then he's telling me he's not going to get out of the vehicle. And that's when Carpenter pull up. I didn't hear that. I told her I was 10-4. I didn't know she was talking about the signal zero. I'm breaking up out here. I'm out here in the woods.
Yes, sir. I'm standing right there in front of him. Seeing that he had, he had his hands on the steering wheel the whole time. He didn't reach for it. He just told me he wasn't going to get out of the car. Yeah, he's handcuffed. It surprises me so much that cops have to call their supervisor nearly on every call. It's clear evidence that they do not know how to do their job. All right, I just want to let you know. Okay. What's what's going on? Yeah, I know the last time I was here and came and spoke with you, there was a lady in the shed out here, and I know you watched. Oh, that and was I, you that yeah, night. Yeah, I know yeah, you watched yeah. the the yes, grounds for yes, the, the. Here's my license if you need that. Yeah, I know you watched the grounds for the um the church. Yes, so. ma'am, I do. I sure um, do. You know, normally somebody pulls up 10, 15, 20 minutes, not a problem. Right. He'd been sitting here 30 minutes when I made the first call. Ooh. And um, I walked out to my fence while I was on the phone. Mm-hmm to get his tag number because the picture I took was too blurry. Okay. Never said a word to him. Walked back to the house, sitting there. Next thing I know, he's sticking his fingers up at me, flipping me off, calling me a bitch. Because the lady on the phone told me not to talk to him. I didn't right. talk to him. That didn't do it for him, so he gets fidgety for a while, gets back in the car. Next thing I know, he gets back out, fiddling around in the trunk going back inside the car and then looks at me and screams you want my tag number i said nope don't need it that's all i said to him never ever accused him of doing drugs i said on the phone it was like a drug deal maybe some shady something going on did anybody there. else come over here while he was here no ma'am okay not until the van came up when you were there you saw the little minivan that is the on, uh, yeah one of the preacher owners preachers or some, yeah yeah. Uh, yeah he's one of the preachers yeah, and he knows there's no trespassing okay but okay. you know he just got real hostile and he's just acting sketchy well, he, he's he's one of those guys. Yeah, I know. So there's a lot more there's a lot more to him. No, deputy, go on. Tell me what you mean. Defame his character even more. You did right. You did right. Thank you. My too, so if you want to make a complaint, now's your chance. Also, if you want to make a complaint, I'm sure you know you can go down to our uh, central office there in Ocala. Oh, no. Or maybe you can even just call and they can send you the forms. No, I know that. Okay. I won't do that. You can do that if you want, though. No, no, I, I won't do that personally. I have attorneys to do that. Okay, that's fine. How you doing? Now the supervisor's sitting on the front of the other car there, kind of lazy-like, and they still got him in handcuffs. They're going nowhere. This man has invoked his Fifth Amendment right. They have nothing. So do you guys make it a habit of drawing firearms on people? Seems like it. Is it customary for you guys to draw firearms on people? It depends. Yeah. He invoked his rights, just to let you know. Okay. Yeah. He, he invoked his Miranda he warning. Miranda warnings? Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah. So in regards to the 22, I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. Did you get his concealed weapons permit? No, I just got a driver's license. Got uh, Sheffield gave that to me. Yeah, yeah the, the, the car, car came back. back. Okay. All right. So, she's just going to go with the neighbors because they watched the, the church. All right. He's sitting out here in the car doing a podcast. I want you to pay close attention to what she says here. This cop is incompetent. They're, other than me, I can't trespass him because none of the parties are here, but this lady next door I'm familiar with. Yeah, I didn't see that on your face, though. So. When, when I'm worried about the service. Service. Does he have a concealed weapons permit? Stand by the tree, so I hear him calling. Yeah, I'm just, I don't do spiders. As soon as we got him cooked, I went straight over and talked to the... Uh, well, he invoked his rights, so run him on teletype and see if they can advise if he has a concealed weapons permit. Hey, how are you? Good. Uh, 
Um, nothing to pass on. Reports were all caught up as of as of four o'clock. I'm on. I'm out in the Highlands right now on, on something, but um, we're still maintaining security on that residence. I, I've got I've got Fulton Fenton calling me. Now this lying ass cop is trespassing him from the property, which she has no legal authority to do so. She just admitted it. Ver verbal. Okay, perfect. Right. Perfect. So your trespass from being over there. Okay. okay. No, come back. Can't make phone call. Perfect. All right. So you can turn around. I'll let you know. I'll put this in your pocket. So there you go. Give me that. Perfect. Yeah. It's probably not a good idea to come on private property and start fussing. How, how, how am I fussing with people? Well, you fussed with me when I got here, and I was told you. How was I fussing with you? Explain that. I handed you my my information. As soon as We're you done. Up. We're done. Sir, please do not load your firearm until you're out of the area. Why? I'm, I'm going to load my gun back in my car and roll up your holster. No, you're not. Why won't I? Because I'm going to take that as a threat. If you re, if you, you take, so he pointed a gun at me. That's not a threat. That's not a threat. We're done. You guys leave, and I'll load my gun, and I'll leave. You are not allowed on the property. You are going to leave before us. Perfect. So what am I doing with my gun? You can put it on the passenger seat and load it when you pull out of the out of here and out of our I will danger. I load it in my, my vehicle. There's nothing unlawful about me loading my firearm. Can you explain to me what's what's unlawful about me loading my firearm? I'm not being an a-hole. I'm asking. Yes, you are. I'm asking. What, yes, you are. What, what is what is what is the what is the thing? Okay, let's switch this around. Let's say that you were us. Yeah. Would you want somebody loading their firearm in front of you? He pointed a gun at me. That's right, he did. So what gives him the right to point a gun at me? I, I'm not going to debate this back and forth. No, no, no. What gives him the right to point a gun at me? Did you have a firearm on you? Yes, I did. Were you did I let her know? Were you complying? Did I let her know? Were you complying yes, with her orders? Yes, I did. Were did you I let complying her know? with her orders? Yes, I did. Did were, I let her know? We're done with this conversation. I'm not yeah. going to debate this I with you. I have no reason to let her know that I was armed. I have no reason whatsoever. Okay. You understand that? I do understand okay. that. Okay, she's telling me I do. I don't. You are required to let law enforcement know if you are armed. I, and, I am and, not. And, Show and, me this, tell me the statute. And you have a Florida, and you have a concealed weapons if permit. If you ask me if I have a concealed weapons license, I have to say yes or no. That's the statute. So unless you got know something different than I do, I'd love to hear it. Get in your vehicle. Do not load the firearm until you are out of our sight. I'm reholstering my firearm. You can reholster it, but do not put a gun around in that chamber. Have a nice day. Yeah, you you're lucky you're not going to jail. For what? Obstruction. For what? Obstruction of what? Of her giving of you a lawful order to get out of the vehicle and yep. you refused. Yep, yep, yep. And then pointing a the gun at me. There's not. Yep. That's, the That's the second time Marion County pointed firearms at me. Second time. Talk to Billy Woods. He'll let Here you know. Here, one more. Ten more on one. Want to move your car? I can't see around here. Thank you.